Hello everyone, how are you today? I am your teacher Jem Raymond and today we are going to check your assessment and additional activities of your lesson 2 of your module 6 in Mathematics 6. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Okay, let's have the assessment of your module 6. Direction, make an experiment by rolling a die 30 times. So record outcome by completing the frequency table below. So this activity should be performed by you at home. Okay, I'll be showing you sample of how to fill in this table. But then the data in my table here may vary on your actual result of your experiments at home. Okay, all you need is a die. And you have to roll it 30 times. It's very easy. Just record the outcome in your table here. Okay? So again, this is a sample die. And you will be rolling this 30 times. Okay? I hope you have your material there with you to perform this experiment. So again, this is your example tally. If you roll a die, then record the result. So example, 1 comes out. Next, we have 6. Okay? Next, 2. After rolling a die, then 2 comes out. Next, 3. And then 2. We have 2. Okay? And so on and so forth. This is just an example class now of how it is done. Of how to record an outcome no, in a frequency table. Yeah. Okay, so the frequency for 1 is 4. For outcome number 2 is 6. We have 3 is 4. Number 4 outcome is 4. And then number 5 is 7. And then number 6 is 5. That's how simple uh, to do this activity. Okay? Again, your result there at home may vary on the sample result that I show here on the screen. Okay? Letter B. Mika and her friends sell beverages. They are offering four drinks. Soft drinks, juice drinks, milk, water to their customers. So the beverages can be in small, medium, and large serving. Use a diagram to find the total possible choices the customers can choose. Si Mika at ang kanyang mga kaibigan ay nagbibenta ng mga drinks. Yung mga drinks na binibenta nila ay soft drink, juice drink, milk, and Water. Pero, ibinibenta nila ito in different sizes. May small, medium, and large. Ang gagawin natin, we will create a diagram na nagpapakita sa mga possible choices na pwedeng pagpipilian ng mga customer nila, Mika at ang kanyang mga kaibigan. We have small, medium, and large. So, ito yung mga different sizes ng kanilang mga inumin. So, of course, Sa small, meron silang pagpipilian na apat. May so, small na soft drink, juice drink, milk, and water. Meron din namang medium size na soft drink, juice drink, milk, and water. Pero ang customer nila pwede rin makapili ng large, soft drink, juice drink, milk, at saka water. ba? So ito yung mga pagpipilian ng mga customer. These are the possible choices that the customer may choose. Pwedeng makapili ang mga customer nila na small size na soft drink. Pwede ring small size na juice drink. Small size na milk and small size na water. The customer can choose also medium size na soft drinks. Medium size na juice drink. Medium size na milk and water. Pwede rin naman silang pumili ng large size na soft drinks, large size na juice drink, large size na milk, and large size na water. So these are the possible choices that the customers of Mika and her friends can choose in their products that they are selling. 
Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the customers can choose 12 possible choices of juice drinks they want to buy. Now let's proceed to the additional activities part of your module. So here's the direction, do what is asked, copy the table, and write your answers on the separate sheet of paper. So perform the experiment below and record outcome in the table. So same as the assessment earlier, you have to perform it at home. I will be giving lang samples here no, sa pag fill up ng ating table. Number one, in a box, place yellow, red, blue, orange, and green crayons or anything available at home. So without looking in the box, pick one crayon. Pick the corresponding color you have picked in the table under the tally column. Return the crayon inside the box and shake the box slightly. Then repeat the process 25 times. Then complete the data in the table. Again, after picking the crayons inside the box, record the outcome in the frequency table. And then you return the crayons inside and then shake it slowly and then pick it again and repeat this process 25 times okay that's simple the activity is you can do it really at home so again we have yellow red blue orange and green crayons inside our box so again i'll be showing you a sample how to fill in our our table here our, our frequency table here and your answer there may vary okay Pwedeng iba yung answer mo sa ipapakita ko sa screen. It would be better if you perform this activity para ma-appreciate mo yung tinatawag nating probability no, ng pag-pick ng each kind of crayons at home. So again, this is a sample tally of outcomes. No, for yellow, we have 4. Red crayon, we have 15. Orange is 3. Green crayon is 1. And blue crayon is Two. So, if we are to solve for the simple prediction, we are going to divide 4, for example, in the yellow crayon, divided by 25. So, that would be unlikely. So, ang red marble natin dyan ay likely kasi mas maraming beses siya na kuha or na pick. So, the rest, the orange, the green, and the blue crayon would be unlikely. Malit lang yung chance na nakuha yung mga, yung other colors ng crayons aside from the red marble. Only red marble based on the experiment, no? So, only red marble has a big chance of picking based on the result. Okay? That ends our discussion on your lesson 2 of your module 6 in Mathematics 6. If you want to watch the part 1 of the module 7 in Mathematics 6, you can click the link above. Okay? Thank you so much. Keep safe, everyone.